All right, look, see it. Hmm, my princess. Yes. I can just imagine that uh, when you get back to school, you have lots of stories to tell your friends. Of course, you yeah. have. You do, right? Yes. You're still here. I am. I didn't know you were still home. Uh, yeah, as a matter of fact, I'm waiting for Eric to come pick me up. I asked him to fill the other car and fix the tires. Besides, I'm not going to the office straight from here. Oh. Yeah. So, where are you going? <laughs> as you can see, I'm on my way out. I'm traveling to Calabar to see my boyfriend. Ella, you are traveling. You're not on your way out. Like, you're making a trip. This boyfriend of yours that you always go to see in Calabar and we don't even know him. Don't you think it's a thing of concern? Shouldn't we know him at least? My love, do not worry. You will get to meet him soon. It's a promise. Ella, it will only be nice that we meet him. So that each time you carry your bag and you jet off to Calabar, I know you're in a safe hand. Gina, you worry too much. It's like you're forgetting that I am an adult. I can take care of myself. Ella, I worry about you because I should be able to give an accurate account of where you are and who you're with. Don't worry. Haba, <laughs> calm down. I'm a big girl, look. I'm a big girl. It's just money that I don't have. Calm down. Bye, Auntie Ella. Bye, my love. Come give and I'll miss you more. Listen, be a good girl. Take care of yourself. Take care of her too. Watch over the house. Do not disturb anyone. Okay? Don't worry. On my way back, I will get you plenty goodies. Thank you. Just be a good girl for me, alright? I love you. I love you too. Alright. Bye. Bye. Right. Of course you take care of me. Um, you right. take care of yourself, all right? Sure. Have a safe, all right. Safe I'll trip. call you when I get to Calabar. Bye. All right. Bye. Send me hello to Calabar. Oh, sure. Bye-bye. <laughs> Where are you going to go with her? Oh, you miss her. And I'm here, like right here. You're, you're going to miss her. Fine. You got me. That is not enough proof that I killed my friend. The plan was never to kill her. No. I never had the plan of killing my friend Gina. But to collect her money and run out of the country with Frank, not to kill her. And you did that because you and Frank wanted to cover up your tracks, especially you. not kill my friend. I did not do it. You say you did not kill Gina. Fine. Now the one million dollar question here is. <sighs> Who killed Gina? I don't know. Anybody else could have done that. Officer, I think Eric is in a better position to tell. Mr. Peter. Yes, sir. You are the security man in charge of late Miss Gina's house. And I'm sure you know what that means. Yes, sir. It means that you are in charge of every human being and property in that house. Yes, sir. Okay. I have this question for you. Okay, sir. Were you in that house on the 17th of June between 3 p.m. and 5 p.m.? Mm -hmm. Yes, I did house. I don't go anywhere. Okay. Apart from Eric, who else 
did you see in that compound before Miss Gina was poisoned on that day? Hmm. Nobody, Oga. Nobody. Mr. Man, this is a police station. And when I ask you questions, I need you to think. Think! Now, relax. Okay, sir. Think very well right now. Look at me. Did you notice any form of unusual movement or side talks or anything unusual on that particular day? Think. Mm. I just remember something, Oga. You oh, understand? No. I said, listen to me. No. Let me warn you. You see, this marriage must hold no. whether you like it or not. No. And if you try to do anything funny, oh my God. I'll kill you. No. Is it Frank? No, <coughs> nothing. It's 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 okay. Here, um, please um, go pump the tire of the car and, uh, and bring it back. I'll be waiting for you. Okay. Ma, are you sure you're fine? I'm, I'm okay. Do you want juice? No, no, no. Is there anything else that you remember you can share with me? No, sir. Now only that in I I remember. It's okay, Mr. Peter, you may go. But don't forget to get back to me in case you remember anything that can be very useful to me in this investigation. Okay, sir. But sir, I for say me kuna question Eric well well oh. Do you think Eric killed Miss Gina? Mm, not be not beside this show, but my mind they tell me say Nain do one. Because Nain give and the juice where she drink. That would be all you can go, thank you. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ladies and <laughs> You're so good at what you do, I can see that already. You're very, very good. Good. 
welcome. I still don't understand what I am doing here. I forgot to mention that you're a very good actor. Good one. So tell me, how many movies have you featured in? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many? Tell me. Maybe I could get an autograph. Is this the reason why you sent for me? I, I, I don't get it. Hmm. Why don't we move straight to the reason you invited me here? Hmm. Okay. Eyes on me. Look me in the eyes and tell me why you killed Gina. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. It was not supposed to be part of the plan. Killing her was not part of the plan, but it just happened. Ella confessed to everything so we know. Tell me, why did you kill Gina? That's the one million wasted here. Ella told you I killed Gina. Yes, she confessed to everything. She told us you killed Gina. Yes. So tell me, you made a threat to her on the 17th and you still went ahead the same day to carry out your threats. Why did you kill her? Tell me now. I did not kill Gina. I am not responsible for the death of Gina and we all know that. We all know who killed her. You should be the one being questioned now, not me. Oh, listen to me, Mr. Frank. Listen and listen very attentively. I am not this quiet and I am not this lenient. I am not a fool. And don't take my leniency for cowardice. Tell me why you killed Gina and let's end this nonsense right here and right now. I know everything. Why did you kill Gina? I will not admit to a crime I know nothing about. You won't force me to. I've told you times without number. I am not responsible for the death of Gina. I see. Mr. Frank Johnson, you are under arrest for the murder of Miss Gina DK. And don't forget, whatever thing you see here right now can be used against you in the court of law. Officer! The officer! I want my lawyer! I want my lawyer right now! Officer! Sir! Inspector! 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 I have! I know my rights! You can't! You can't! You can't detain me! Stand up! You can't! You, you respect yourself! Stand up! Respect yourself! Respect yourself. Respect yourself. Respect yourself. Respect Look! I am innocent! I am innocent! You are holding the wrong person! I am very innocent! Officer! Oh, Officer! Oh, Officer! Oh, Officer! I have been here for the past one hour, begging you to allow me to see my brother. Please, just two minutes, please. Young lady, if you like, stay here at night for I can't go against instruction. Instruction is that no one should see Eric. Please go home. Officer. Leave here now. I know you have a brother or even a sister like me. Please allow me to see my brother, please. Just two minutes. Okay, one minute. He passed 30 seconds. Please, officer, I'm begging you. Auntie, please let me beg him. You deaf? Huh? Have you not here? You said make him go. 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 Please, I'm begging you. If you don't leave here like the next five minutes, I will lock you up. Get out. Let me see my brother. Move here. Leave. Let me see my brother. Get out. 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 Don't mind that girl, foolish girl. Begging, begging for what? Begging for a killer. Are you okay? Come and sit down! Who ordered you to 
Of your daughter. He is in our custody now. And what are we waiting for? Let us take him to court immediately. You have a point, Chief. The truth is that we are trying to gather enough evidence to nail him. But I assure you, very soon we will take him to court. <sighs> very soon, very soon. How soon, DPO? How soon? Sooner than you expect, ma. As I said, we are trying to gather enough evidence to nail him. Okay. But at least can we see the monster that killed my daughter? Of course, Chief. Inspector Tony, get me Mr. Eric, 
the young man that killed Miss Jean Adike. My office, sorry. Hey, Frank! Come here! I said, come! If you get love, your lawyer don't come there. If not, if they hear that, come on, come here! Montra. Montra. I know you killed Gina. And I will make sure you brought in this jail. Come on, Frank, you don't teach this guy like that. You don't hear that? Don't pull on top of your house. Just the go, get along. And then you go meet the member also. Then you bring food for us. Come on, come on, come on. We are fat! As God knows, we are fat. We are fat. We are fat. Your brother is very young, man. Hey! Yeah. My, my, my sister. I mean, have they not come for my, my belly? Come on, go inside! You murderer! Go inside! Sorry. Okay. Yes, yes, yes! Go, no, Papa! Sit down, your sister will come, yeah? Sit. Sit, don't worry. Go, oh, don't go out of the plan. We'll still go out of the plan. Just sit down. Okay? You don't blood finish. Chief! This is your daughter's PA and her mother. What? I did not kill Gina. Shut up! You killed my only child. No, ma. I have no reason. I said, shut up! It will never be well with you. It will never be well with you. My own child. Sir, I did not. Shut up! I did not kill her. I said, shut up! Shut up! Inspector, take it back. Take it back. If you move, if you move, I will not move. I will not I will not move. 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 I will not So they still did not allow you to see him? Mama, they did not. I begged and begged, but they asked me to go. I did not see my brother, Mama. I did not see him. Hey! Chibo. What kind of temptation is this? Get you down with my father. What have I done to deserve this? Where have I gone wrong? What has my son done to deserve this kind of maltreatment? Mama, what if brother is dead and the hiding? Shut up! Make me, me shut no say so. Sorry, Mama. Ah, shut up! My own son dead. How can you even conceive such? You know it can never be true. My son cannot die. It's not possible. If I had known. If I had known. I wouldn't have allowed him to work for that woman in the first place. What is this? Why are you crying? My father sent me away. Sent you away. What did you do? Mama, what did you do? What happened? I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant for your brother. I'm carrying his child. Mama. 
You are pregnant. Frederick, my son. Yes, no. You are carrying my grandchild. <laughs> I don't have any way to go Hey! 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 Eric in the back of my food, Eric in the house. Debbie, why did you just come? How dare you? Listen, let me give you this first and last one. Let this day be the first and last. You open that gutter of yours to call me a snitch. Ella, you are a snitch. A backstabber, a thief, a harlot, a murderer, that is what you are. Now what are you going to do to me? What will you do? All your secrets have been exposed. Debbie, do not push me too far. You will not like me. And what will you do if I push you, Ella? What will you do? Kill me the same way you killed Gina. <laughs> it's not going to work. You know why? Because I am tough. I am a hard nut to crack. So you can do nothing. Harlots. Backstabber. Now come back and fight me. Come back and face me. Harlots. Look at her. What you do will you do? You are a murderer. Now come back and face me. Where are you going to? Come back and face me. Oh, I thought you were a woman enough, but clearly you are not. Backstabber. Murderer. You are a murderer, Ella. Has he got into this? You mean your own father sent you out of the house? You've seen it for yourself. My father threw me out of the house and asked me never to step foot in his compound again. Unless I have bought the bastard in my womb. <laughs> My father called my child a bastard. It's okay. You don't have to cry over this. Your child is not a bastard. It has a father. And his family welcomed you. So there is nothing to cry about. Wipe your tears. <laughs> you need to see the way my father humiliated and disgraced me in public. Calling me all sorts of names. You know, I doubt if he's my biological father. I don't no, think so. No, 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 no. He is. He's still your father. You know how parents can be sometimes. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. I just want you to be strong for this your unborn child. You have to be strong for this your innocent <laughs> child. Please. Uh, I know it's a time of trials, but you have to be strong. Please. Everything will be fine, okay? Please. Please. I'm heartbroken. I can't take this anymore. Why will my father treat me like this? What am I done to deserve this? I know, but you have to be strong for your child. No father will treat their child like this. Officer, I am not leaving this place until I see Eric. Young lady, we don't have any Eric here. Go and check for another station. That's a lie. I am very sure Eric is in this station and I'm not going anywhere until I see him. So, okay, and the talk is there, the talk, the talk nonsense. If you know you're there, talk nonsense, you should go now. You see, you there, the talk nonsense. What are you telling me? If you shout me, you should go. Let's say something to the world you're ahead. Abby? Come on, here. What is going on there? What's that? What? Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. What is going on here? Sir, now this girl, oh, yes. tell her I say you want to see Eric. And we tell her I say Eric, you know, they're here. That criminal. 
He said he must see her. He's here. Sam, please. I have to see Eric. It's a matter of life and death. Please, I have to see him. I've been here several times, but they don't want me to see him. Please, you have to help me. Please, I beg you. Help me. Please, stand up. It's okay, stand up. Uh, apart from her, has another person come to you very yet? Yeah. No, sir. Okay, um, <clears throat> uh, sir, um, you get Eric for her to see. Uh, and make sure that she doesn't give Eric anything to eat. That is the instruction. Yes, Bring the fire to the office. The one that I'm supposed to transfer to the water. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. You will do the last one. Thank God if you do the other. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think we're ready to go to court. Uh, we have something to prove that Eric killed Gina. Oh, that's good. Her parents are on my neck. So, we have to prepare to go to court by next week Monday. Make all the necessary arrangements and documentation. I need them submitted to me. I need them in two days. Permission to follow, sir. Permission granted. I was told you wanted to see me. Yes, sir. I'm listening. Sir. Sir, you are the only one that can help me. I don't have any other person to fight for me. I don't have money for case, to pay lawyer. I don't, I don't have. I don't have money to prove my innocence. You're the only one that can help me, please. I'm innocent. I didn't kill Gina. I'm not a murderer. I cannot kill. I don't have that kind of heart. All I'm trying to say is, let's, let's do proper investigation. It's not just me. The culprit could be out there and you're punishing me for nothing. So how did it go? No locks at all. All the bank details has been changed. I didn't get anything at all. I just wasted my whole time. Damn. Damn. What kind of ill luck is this? You mean you could not get hold of any of the accounts? Both local and international? Did you not hear what I just said? Are you, are, are you deaf or something? If I get out of my car. Get out of my car! Frank? Are you asking me out of your car? Are you deaf? Or have you acquired some sort of deaf... What? Look, leave my car. Stop acting. I'll push you out of this car! Leave my car right now! Get out! Say. 
What else will he say? <laughs> According to him, Eric is still the prime suspect. He advised we get a reasonable amount of money to get him a good lawyer. Are you serious? Getting him a good lawyer will help him come out? Not really. <laughs> it's 50 50 oh. ah. But then, getting him a good lawyer will help his situation. If not get him out of the case, at least help reduce his sentence. It's a better option now. Eh? It's okay. The God will serve you when you take him. I think we have to take the officer in charge as I said, getting him a good lawyer. How do you do My sister is the money. Where are we going to get that kind of money? Eh? We can barely afford to feed in this house. Talk of getting him a good lawyer. If not for Nnamdi, I don't even know how we'll survive. Talking about Nnamdi, I think I need to see him. Really? Yes, I really need to see him. Okay. It's okay. Everything will be fine, okay? Baby, 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 yes. Why is your face like this? What are you thinking about? Honey, how can I be happy when an innocent man is being accused of something he knows nothing about? And the police wants to kill him over something he never did. When the real killer is out there walking freely, he might even be in one beer parlor now taking one or two bottles. Ha, huh, Eric. Baby, I understand how you feel. I understand how much Eric means to you. We are all sad with the same issue. But we don't have to continue like this. We have to find a solution to it. So tell me, what is the way forward? What do you think we should do? I think we have to take the advice of the officer in charge of his case. We have to get a good lawyer for him. I think that's the best for now. Honey, we don't have money. Where do we get this money from? Eh? You and I know we have something very important to do with money. Honey, all the money I have now, I want them out for a big day. There is no money left for me. I don't have money again. Baby, do you love and trust me? Yes, of course. You know I do. Okay. Anything I ask you to do for me, you will do it. Yes, I will do it. And what is it? Baby, I want you to use the money for our wedding and get a good lawyer for him. Yes, his life is more important here. Our big day can wait. Please. You know he's supposed to be your best man. And the ceremony will not be complete without him. Please, I want you to do it for him. Please, baby. Hi. Honey, you can't cease to amaze me. You are such a good girl with a heart of gold. Honey, for this, eh, I will love you forever. I will love you. I thank you so you much. Too. Ah, thank you so much. person to fight for me. I don't have money for case. To pay lawyer. I don't, I don't have I don't have money to prove my innocence. You're the only one that can help me, please. I'm innocent. 
consent. I didn't kill Gina. I'm not a murderer. I cannot kill. I don't have that kind of heart. Please. Have I gotten myself into? Yeah. This is 12 midnight. A man that said he's responsible is not back to his own house. My goodness. God knows if he's not. Engage with one of all those stupid girls out there. No, Tony. Tony, you will not kill me in this house. God, you know that. I can't, I, can't, I can't take this anymore. It's becoming too much. It's becoming too much for me, for crying out loud. Why can't I enjoy my own husband? Goodness. Don't, 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 come close to me. Just hold it to yourself. Please, please. Who the hell do you think you are? Hey, Tony. I'm asking you. Please, I had a very rough day, very hectic one. All I need now is just for you to some warm water for me and get my food. Please, please, I beg you. Really? All I have to do is just go in there, put food for you to eat. No. Go back there. Tell one of all the stupid girls you've been de dealing with out there to give you food. Okay? Look at the time. I beg you in the name of anything you hold dear to your heart. Today is a very good day. Hmm? I have a lot going on in my head already. Please, please, <laughs> let me have peace. I don't want to unleash this anger inside of me on you. I'm begging you, please, take care of the oh, house geez. and have hey, a good day. What did you just say? Please. Unleash. Hey, Mr. Michael, my come back. Please. Where do you think you're going? Eh? Come on, unleash your stupid anger on me. What is wrong with you? I'm used to it. Yes, I'm used to it. What else can you do? Hmm? What else can you do? Stupid man. Look at you. Hey. At times I regret ever getting married to a stupid man like you. Oh, Jesus Christ. See, listen, Tony. You aren't going anywhere. Today, we die here. Nonsense. Ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you Where are you going to? What did you just say? Hi, Pamela. Pamela, I have suffered. I will share the money. When did you start asking me where I go to or how I do in this house? Tell me. Listen, I don't have your time. 
time today. I don't have time for your troubles. Hmm? Anyways, just let me be in peace, alright? I ask you again, where are you going to? Listen to me. It's none of your business. You got that? Pamela. Pamela. Open this door. Don't. What kind of stupid question is that? My friend, open this door. Ah. It's, it's yours. Tony. Tony is your wife. Better open this door now. Okay, my wife. Hey. I'm sorry I cannot open that door. So you better go back to your home. I remember vividly I was asking you, where were you going to and you ignored me? So I am telling you now to go back to wherever you are coming from. Don't knock on that case in case. I am not here. Listen, Tony, I don't have time for progress tonight. Please, open this door. Eh? Mommy, I am begging you to go back to wherever you are coming from. Don't knock there again. Don't knock there again. Good night. Tony. Tony, please now. Eh? It hasn't got to this. Tony, I'm sorry now. Eh? Please. Tony. Hi. Tony. Tony, please. Open the door, please. Eh? Okay, I'm sorry. I, 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 I have to explain. Okay, you are still my husband. Honey. Are you guys there now? Okay, okay, hold on. Stay with him. I'll, I'll be there. I'll be there in 15 minutes. Yes, okay, all right. Thank you. Tony, please. Good morning. Pamela, please. Not now. I have an emergency. Why are you opening your palms as if something is wrong? Eh? Huh? Ah, Peggy. Just the money. 100,000. Not too much. Pamela, you just heard I have an emergency from work. For crying out loud, I have asked for this 100,000 since three days now. What is it? 100,000 naira. What is it? Working. Day in, day out. Always working. So, why is 100,000 naira so big for you to give to your wife? Eh, Mr. Tony? Inspector Tony? Eh? Pamela. Pamela, please. I need to go to work now. I have an emergency. Alright. Me too. I have an emergency. That's why I'm asking for the man. Yes, so. All of us have emergencies we're waiting for. So, what is wrong about that? Eh? What is it now? Stop mentioning my name as if something is wrong. Has your father ever given your mother up to 100,000? Not even. Who in your family, from all your brothers, can afford 100,000 naira now in a minute? Of course, you know how I was when you got married to Yes! You have tried out. Everywhere you want the numbers to know that I am asking for money, okay? Tony, give me 100,000 naira just for upkeep. Yes, on any name, Kagas. Name, me, most of you call Papa Pamela. What is wrong? You are the one, Tony. Yes, you are, Tony. You are so fast. You are growing up in this house. Who is it? Tony! Tony is a liar! You must give me that one today! Pamela! Ah! If you try me again! If you try me again! Eh? If you try... 
Tony, Tony, I swear to God, you must give me that one today. You must. I will show you that it is not that easy to have a stable in a job. Mr. Tony, why did you kill your wife? I did not kill my wife. Why am I finding it very difficult to believe you? Something is missing somewhere. Now, from the report we gathered, some of the neighbors that were around when this thing happened said you had a hot and heated argument with her. You got so angry and you were so, so bad in a very bad situation and I decided to end her up. I did not kill my wife. I love my wife. I love my wife so much and yes, we had an argument that day. We had a fight that afternoon, that same afternoon we had an argument. But I wouldn't be so wicked to kill my wife. I love my wife and I wouldn't kill her for anything. Do you watch African Magic? Some of those are retro films. In some of those retro films, you find out that those people they kill are people they love. So when you say you love your wife, it doesn't add up. Okay. Now, let me make it very easy for you. So that you won't be too blind to see. It is quite okay that it wasn't intentional. But she got you so angry, so annoyed, that you knocked her. Steve, I did not kill my wife. You know me very well. I did not kill my wife. I did not kill my wife. For God's sake, no. I never. My wife. I killed my wife. When it comes to security, when it comes to this kind of investigation, you don't need to talk about innocence. Tony, we have got the person that murdered your wife. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. I understand how you feel. Steve. I'm here. Well, a young lady came to us and made some confession. She said her brother was killed in one of the operations you led five months ago in one of the banks. So the young man wasn't happy and when he came for you, he didn't see you. And then he decided to drop a message by killing your wife. I'm sorry. Why couldn't he come for me instead? Why my innocent wife? Calm down. That is something I said. See, why my innocent wife? Why? He shouldn't have come for you. He shouldn't have. Even at that, he tried as much as possible to see you, but in his quest to see you, he couldn't. And then he decided to drop a message by taking off your wife. I'm, I'm so, so sorry. You need to go home right now and prepare yourself. You are a free man now. The young man will be taken to court alongside. 
So you need to go home and prepare yourself for the case. Thank you, Steve. You're welcome. I know how you feel now. Are you okay? Thank you. Just be yourself. Uh, one of, these are some of the things we need to do for security apparatus. It's part of the security architecture. Everybody can be a suspect at any point in time. So do not see it from the point that we mahandle you. No, no, we did it. It's a normal thing we do for anybody who is found as a suspect. Someone somewhere knows something. I am sure. Oh God. Oh God, please help me. I don't want to convict an innocent man. I don't want to convict an innocent man. God, please help me. Or could it be someone is trying to implicate him or pay him back for something he did in the past? Hmm. Oh, wow. This whole thing is becoming confusing because all the evidence points at him as the killer. But something in me tells me he did not do it. Hmm. Maybe Eric is innocent just as I was. It could be just a coincidence. Let's say he was um, at the wrong place at the wrong time. Because looking at the whole Sirenio, Eric has nothing to gain with the death of Gina. Crying again, eh? Why do you want to hurt yourself? Why are you doing this? I have told you that nothing will happen to my brother. He's going to come out strong and alive. Ah, you don't know these people. You don't know them. They're very wicked. They will kill him. They will never kill him. My spirit can never lie to me. He's going to come out strong. Stop doing this and consider your condition, please. Please, I'm begging you. This is the time I need him most. I know. I need him now. I know. <laughs> How am I going to defend him? I cannot even help him. I cannot even save him. I can't even save my Eric. <laughs> God is going to do everything for us. <laughs> See, let's go inside. Mama is calling you. I'm not going anywhere. Let's go. I cannot leave oh, you here. Oh, You don't understand. You don't. Eric is suffering and I cannot even help him. I need him now and he's not here. <laughs> How am I going to save him? God is going to do everything. My Eric. God, everything is possible. Inspector. You know that won't be possible for me now. If I may ask, what is your reason for asking for more days to investigate this matter? Um, sir, I, I think we have the wrong person on this particular case. The real culprit could still be out there. I just want you to give me some time. Let me reinvestigate really this case. And I believe I will come up with something. Inspector, in as much as I understand your plea, there is nothing I can do right now because the case is going to court on Monday. Sir, I, I just think we're not getting something right in this case. Just give me one week. Let me, let, let me reinvestigate this case. I promise to come up with something. You seem convinced that Eric is not the killer. Why? Chief, you need my 
it's good to come. But there's a problem. Hmm. What problem, DPO? Is it money? I will give you as much money as you want. But I want this case in court. First thing on Monday money. The inspector in charge of this case thinks that we do not have the right person in our custody. He thinks that the killer of your daughter is out there. So, he is asking for more time to investigate this matter. Never! That will not happen. He must have collected bribe in order to delay the case. <laughs> This will not work. Not with my daughter. This case goes to court on Monday. And that is final. Please, Mr. DPO, make sure. My wife has said it all. We have found the killer. And we are ready to go to court. So let's go to court. My love, how are you? I try to be fine. I'm fine. Stop that. I don't, I don't like what you guys are doing. How is Mama? Mama is no fine. Mama is very, very sick. She's very, very sick. What is wrong with her? I don't know. I don't know. Has she taken any medication? But Anna gave me some money to get drugs for her. But she's not getting better at all. She's not getting better. <laughs> okay. Now listen. Okay. Please. Tell Mama. Tell Mama to be strong for me. I will be out here very soon. I promise. But, my love, how do you intend to do that? The inspector in charge of my case said he's going to reinvestigate the case. I just pray <laughs> God will vindicate me. <laughs> that means we should be hopeful. Yeah. Okay, we're hopeful. My love, we brought you food. Okay, your time, your time is up. Ah, officer, please now, just give us more time. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to shoot. Okay, please. I don't know what I said. Okay. I Tell Mama that I'll be back soon. Let's go. I'll be back. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I'll Inspector, I spoke with Dina's parents. They disapprove your request to continue with the investigation. They insist that the case must go to court by Monday. <sighs> That's what I can do. Sorry. It's okay, sir. Permission sure to follow, sir. Inspector. Sir. Can you come up with something in five days? I'll do my best. I'll do my best, sir. 
I hope you know what will happen in five days if you do not come up with something tangible. I'll do my best. I'll do my best. But be sure to follow us. I did not promise I was going to release your brother. I only promised to look deeply into this case to know if he's truly innocent. But I'm, I have an advice. When you get home, talk to your people. Sit back and discuss how you can get a lawyer, a good lawyer, that will represent him in the court. Um, officer, we don't have any lawyer we can contact. Please, how do we get one? Okay, no one. Yeah, okay. I will, um, I'll give you the contact. So you call him and uh, book an appointment with him. He handles cases like this very well. I'm sure he will handle yours. Thank you very much. We appreciate a lot. Say you have achieved your mission, yeah. The backstabber around. Eric, for the fact that I want to help you by investigating this case does not mean that you are innocent. I am only doing this to fulfill all righteousness because I don't want to have the wrong person condemned but I tell you if at the end of the day you are found guilty of this crime read my lips I will not only have it hurt with you, but I will testify against you and the court. And I will personally make sure that you do not set your eyes on daylight ever again in your life. Do you understand? See me as your brother and your friend, your confidant. Start from the beginning and tell me everything that happened, word by word. On that very good day. Yes, sir. Yes, I can hear you. Pastor, please, I beg you. You have to help us. Eh? We don't have anyone to help us. Please, I beg you. You're our last hope. Pastor, please, I beg you. In the name of God, please. Eh? You couldn't help us. Ah, Barista, please. You mean you can defend him in court if we don't pay that kind of money? Sir, so that's too much. We don't have that kind of money. Please, I beg you. Help us. You mean there's nothing you can do? Help me, Kono, please. Hello?
Two million naira. <laughs> Where do we get that kind of money from? What has Eric done to deserve this kind of punishment? What has he done? I don't know. I don't know why life is so unfair to us. Okay, look, my brother is going to be judged and condemned for a crime he did not commit. Just because we are poor. Is it fair? Peter, it's okay. All hope is not lost. Something can be done. Something can be done? How? When? When will something be done? Is it, is it until they kill him? Eric will be taken to court soon. For a crime he did not commit. He didn't do it. I know Eric, he didn't do it. Eric did not do it. He did not. It's okay. It's okay. God. God! Are you washing? Are you watching an innocent man being condemned for a crime? He did not commit. Are you happy? If it's fine with you, if it, it is fine with me, no problem. Nobody. It's okay. It's okay. Don't cry. Nobody ah. will kill him. He's not guilty until it's proven in the law courts. Miracles can still happen. Miracle? Yes. We should wait for miracle, right? No problem. Let's wait for miracle. Stop crying. Everything will be fine. <laughs> you just need to stop crying. No problem. <laughs> I don't tell her say madam no day. More like come go, she no day. Just go more now now now. I got no day. Please now. Nah, we It's not my fault. You no day. You no day. More like come back later, bitch. Just come on now now now. What's going on there? Madam, my tell her say I got no day house. Make come come on. Just there they want you. Just stand there since. Say they won't wait for. I tell her make they go. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon, ma. You no day, bitch. Ma, please. We really need to see she, please. It's urgent. And who are you? My name is Anne and she's Rita. We are here on behalf of Eric. Ma, please, we beg you. You have to help us. Eric did not kill Gina. He will never do such a thing, no. For real? You mean you are relatives to that murderer and you have the guts, the audacity and temerity to walk into this compound? Now leave this compound, this minute. Eric is a murderer and he must pay for it. He killed my only daughter. Did you get that? My no, brother is go. not a killer. You yes. can never kill anybody. Please, help us beg Chief to withdraw the case. Please, man, beg you. So we beg you. He did not kill, he did not kill you now. He did not do it. He will never do such a thing. Yes. Please, you have to believe us. Please, we no. beg you. Thank you. Yes. Hello. Yes, DPO. Eh? Please send your name to my house immediately. Go. Are you here? Go and back again. Stupid girls. You would have waited and see if you will not end up in that cell with your stupid brother. Evil people. And you, make sure you don't come into this compound ever again. Is that clear? Okay, ma. Yes, ma. Oga, now everything when I know be that, nothing again. I need you to calm down. <clears throat> Relax yourself and think. Think very well. Think of a way you can help us find out who really killed your mother. Is there any suspicious movement or anybody who might have said something? That might help us think and talk to me now. Look, everything will make her talk again. I know they has when the thing happened. Not be me do one. Only come back and see Madame dead body for chair. Nothing again. 
Now the only thing I feel remember be that. Sorry for bringing you here again, but I promise this time it won't be long. Just tell me what I need to hear. Officer, I have told you I did not kill Gina. Why do you keep bringing me here? Like I said earlier on, I am very sorry for bringing you here. All I need from you is for you to tell me the exact thing I need to hear. I need to know who this bad, gruesome murderer is. Who is this invisible killer? But if at the end of the day, I get to find out that you are in any way connected to the murder of Gina, or you are the killer herself, I promise you, I who personally walk you into the four walls of that prison yard and you will never see the daylight again. It's a promise. Officer, what do you really want from me? Eric killed Gina. I mean, it's obvious. Um, Peter. Tell me something. Apart from what you told me the last time, do you still remember anything at all that you might want to tell me? Mm -hmm. Bugam, I don't remember anything again. I don't tell you everything where I know. Are you very sure? Yes, Oga. I did sure what I did tell you. Peter, the woman we're talking about here is a woman who gave you everything. Everything before she was gruesomely murdered by a wicked unknown person. Remember, she gave you life. She gave you shelter. She paid you well. Remember where she brought you from and bettered your life. Whatever thing you're doing now, wherever she is, she will be happy that you are helping to find out who this wicked unknown killer is. All you've got to do is think. Think, Peter. Think. Think. Yes. I remember something now. That's it. Our girlfriend come house later that day. Get a hot too. That one for sign now. Yeah, don't go my market. After I go say now, now be or gak pata pata. After madana him. Yeah, I can't leave gate. Go now. Pizza. I beg, no get time for that. See me see Wala. What if she come enter this house now? Which I go tell Madam. Eh? Just make her go buy bread and minara for Mama to uh, talk by shop. Make her take home my belly. Now Susan just to almost leave gate open like that. I you see this girl. I you see this girl. She not give myself for this house. So. I you see this girl. Make she go come, come back come into her this house. She go see what I will do with her. Make it. Make it go come back. Come.
I know they deceive me. Peter. Ah, Oga. How are you now? I'm fine, sir. Ah, why you come down side now? Make a full gate for you now. Okay, I give you this to that. Ah! Okay. I talk and say you be better person. You no know mind there. Ah! Thank you. Ah! Bye, Peter. Come, come, ah. come. I'm pissed too. Hey, oh God, don't make me go to cry for you. <laughs> hey, oh God, frag you too much. Ah! Hey, oh God, frag don't kill. Make I make I spend your dollars. Thank you, oh God. Okay, oh God. We know you. So, why didn't you tell me this all does well? Okay, I be forget. And as you know, enter house, I can't feel like saying no the importance. Is there anything else you still remember you want to share with me? No, it don't finish. I don't remember anything again, again, it don't finish. That will be all for now, Mr. Peter. Okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Officer, what exactly is going on? Why are you frustrating me? Why are you doing this? Were you paid by someone to humiliate me? Why are you embarrassing me, making my life uncomfortable? What is it? I am not finding this funny any longer. Not at all. Or you think I don't have meaningful things to do with my time? Do you? I don't know what gave you the guts to think you can sit in a police interrogation room and rant and talk rubbish. When you're done talking, you must tell me exactly what killed Gina. That's all I want to hear from you. She cannot force me to say things I do not know. I have told you before and I repeat myself. I did not kill Gina. Neither do I know what killed her. I don't have any other thing to say to you and that is it. Hello? Who is this? Inspector Tony, what, what is it? I have told you I know nothing about the death of Gina. What do you want again? Look, I have somewhere to meet up with, so you better make it fast. Look, officer, I did not kill Gina, and I didn't even go into that compound. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know how you're placing this, but you have no proof whatsoever, me. I am innocent. You too, and stop calling me. What is wrong with this man? Hello Chief, good day. Yes, I'm aware. Yes, just that the, the case will not be on Monday anymore. I can explain, Chief. No, 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 no. The case must go to court, but not on Monday again. Let's say uh, on Thursday morning. Chief, we are trying to do our job here. Hello? Hello? Chief, hello? Hello? Move! Bring him this way! This way! Move! Please, I, mean, I said move! 
This way. This way. I'm in a sense. Move. 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 To my Eric. Oh no, Jesus, Jesus. Eric, I cover you with the blood of Jesus Christ. Nothing will happen to you. Oh no, Jesus. I cover you with the blood of Jesus Christ. You will not die. You will not die. No evil forces will fall on you. I cast and I bound. I rebook every evil black. I cast. I like seeing you like this. Please. Please. I know. Please. Stop crying. Inugo. Ah. Why is she crying? Why is she like this? What happened? She had a miscarriage. What? Why? I don't know. Don't worry. It's okay. <laughs> baby, baby. It's okay. Why? Sorry. Why do I have to lose my baby? Why? Don't worry. Okay. Why does it have to be now that Rick is not here? Why are all these things happening to me? 
<laughs> Why is God punishing me? No, 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 don't say that. God is not punishing no. you. God is punishing me. You just have to calm down. Be cool. Just have to my baby, baby, everything will be fine. Yes. Baby, my baby, baby. no, I want to this one. Yes. Why do I have to lose this one? Why? Okay. Is it fair? You watch yourself. She Eric is it. not even here. Why? My mother will come back. She will come back very, very soon. I just want to die. I just want oh, to I die. See. I cannot take this anymore. I cannot take this anymore. I cannot. What happened to Is there something I am not really getting? Is there some way I am missing something very important? Why is Eric at the center of this whole thing? From all indications, Eric. His statement, Eric. Eric. Is someone trying to frame him up? God help me, I don't want to complete an innocent man. Are you alright? Since today you've been moody, what is it? I'm fine. I'm okay. When do you start lying? Eh? It's written all over your face that you're lying. Talk to me, what is it? I'm worried about you. Yes. You're worried about me? But why? I know that very soon you will leave us to go back to your home. Because you lost the baby. And if you go, I'm going to be lonely. Is that why you're sad? See, it's true that I lost the baby, but I am not going anywhere. Hmm? I cannot forget you and Mama. You are like family to me. Even if I go back to my father's house, I will not forget you. Yes. I said so, I believe you. Are you happy now? Mm -hmm. I'm not going anywhere, right? Can we eat our food? Yes. Are you sure? <laughs> you don't have to worry, okay? Mama? 
just go and go and go. Be fast, or if not, I'll finish this food. my love it has happened eh? we can't question God I'm very sorry it wasn't my intention to put you through all this my love please don't blame yourself eh? I know you will never do anything to hurt me I know. The most important thing is that I am alive. I'm healthy. I'm, I'm okay. We can have as many children as we want in future, okay? Please. That's if I'll make it here alive. Oh. <laughs> Don't say that. The God I serve will vindicate you. <laughs> I need you to be strong. I need you to be hopeful. Trust me, you will come out of this place. You will. Okay. Please put yourself together. Please, I need you to be strong for me. Don't know how it happened Oh God, I wish This wasn't true Ah, okay, sit down Okay, what is it? But that is, is it? Mama oh. Mama is getting worse by the day ah, Not again, huh? What is it? Where are you going to? I want to go and see the chemist man to know if he can give me some drugs or credits. Okay, come, let's go now. I don't know how to thank you for the drugs you got from Mama. God will bless you. Amen. You're welcome. Brother, thank you very much. You're welcome. Don't worry, yeah? Mama will be fine. Ah. The pharmacist assures us that Mama will be fine as soon as she takes the drugs ah. as prescribed. Yes, that's true. He assured us that as soon as Mama takes those drugs, she'll be fine in no time. Ah. I hope so. Eh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama will be fine. Huh? Mm -hmm. And um, Anne, mm -hmm. I would love to see you privately. I want to have a word with you. I hope all is well. Of course, everything is alright. Then you don't have to see me privately. That my family can talk to me. Right here. Okay. I wanted to know when you're going back to your father. I spoke to him yesterday and he assured me that he has forgiven you. That you can come back home now. I was actually coming to this place when I met Rita on the road. Namdi, I am not going back to the house. I am not! He lost me the moment he threw me out of the house. I am not going back to that wicked man. Never! Um, see, in as much as I understand your stand on this, you still need to have everything on this. You need to go back home. He's still your father and you bear his name. Really? Yes. Have you forgotten what he did to me? Iberi, I am not going back to the house. I am not! And you need to do the right thing. You have to go back home. I don't understand. Who says she's not doing the right thing? Eh? Listen, this is her home. She belongs here now. Exactly. I'm not going anywhere. I am not. This is my home and I'm staying right here. You just have to go back home. That is all I can say. Hey, Barry, whose side are you on? Eh? Because I, I don't understand you anymore. On your side, of course. I'm on your side. It doesn't look like it. You're supporting my father. You want me to go back to that wicked man? Have you forgotten what he did to me? Have you? I'm not going back to that house. 
This is my home now, and I'm staying right here. I know both of you be wondering why I called you here. Actually, I'm glad to announce to you that the murder case of your daughter will be heard in court in the next two days. We will now know the killer. DPO, I don't understand the reason for this meeting. Both of us know that the case will be coming up in court in the next two days. We are also aware that you've had the killer in your custody for God knows when. Why did you call this meeting? Chief, you are right. But there is something new. Which is? Excuse me. Inspector Tony, bring him. You have to wait. He's coming. This is the true killer of your daughter. We. Oui. Young man, what is your name? Mami be spider. <coughs> the alpha man of my area. <coughs> Do you know Miss Gina before her death? <coughs> no. I don't know her. Someone contracted me to kill her. <coughs> so, who gave you the job? Hello? Namibi Spider, the alpha man of this area. Now who be this? Huh? What's I go do for you? You get business deal for me. No while now. Okay. Meet me at the uncompleted building by the West End. Yes. All right.
Let them as soon as we put this case, leave her like this. See this, you are What if she's going to enter this house now? Wait till I go tell madam. Eh? Just make her go buy bread and minara for mama to uh, talk by shop. Make her take home my belly. Now she's going to just take a month, leave the case open like that. I you see this girl. I you see this girl. She not give myself for this house. I you see this girl. Let's go come, come back, come into her this house. She goes, see what I'll do with her. Let it, let it go come back. Oh, okay. How are you now? I'm fine, sir. Ah, why you come the outside now? Make no, a pocket for you now. No, 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 don't worry. It's not necessary. I just. Ah. Uh, I'm the. Peter, Peter. <laughs> Take this one now. Take care of yourself, yeah? Talk, 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 talk. Talk, sir. Ah. <laughs> okay, talk as you be better person. Okay, okay. No don't mind them. Ah. Okay. Thank yeah. you. The 
damage done. You don't forget say Namibi spider. The alpha man of this area. When I deliver job, na one hand, no traces. So, when am I getting my balance? No shaking, no shaking. Everywhere good, no shaking. Young man, I was told you wanted to see me. Yes. Namibi Spider, the alpha man of my area. I know they talk too much. Mr. Spider, Mr. Alpha Man, I'm a very busy person. What can I do for you? <laughs> you get waiting, I won't tell you. But you go promise me, say. If I scratch your back, you go scratch my back. You can't sit here and waste my time and tell me scratch your back and tell me all nonsense that has to do with your name that I don't understand. If you have anything very important to tell me, tell me. Or less, I have some important things to do. I know who killed Gina. Yes. But before I tell you, you must promise me that you will reduce my punishment. Yes. So that was what happened. It's clear to us that Spider here is the killer of your daughter. You are a liar! How much did they pay you for this? Why are you doing this? How much? Why are you mocking a morning woman? Oh my poor Gina. Why? Why are you doing this? <coughs> <coughs> Madam, <coughs> why are you the lie now? Eh? Why are you the lie? <coughs> Maybe you tell me, say, <coughs> if I won't go, say, make I go <coughs> by weekend. Say the house help go they go market. Eh? See if I reach, make I, make I follow through the back door. We lead to the kitchen. Eh? <coughs> <coughs> See when I get to the kitchen, make I open the fridge. <coughs> if I open the fridge, make I make I poison the juice. Say gin at the light juice. Eh, madam, not be what you tell me. I ask again, why are you lying? Why? I don't know anything about what you just said. Madam, enough! Enough! Your game is up. Do you think the police is stupid? Do you think we are foolish? Watch this. <coughs> Spider was smart enough to record this the day you met with him. Now you see, we are not foolish. What? Augusta! How could you? How could you? Augusta, why? Why? Yes, I did it. I did it. And I blame you for everything. I blame you. You cast all this because you decided to love an adopted child more than your own. You gave her everything. Everything. And nothing for your own son. And what do you expect me to do? I had to put her out of the picture. Yes. I did it. And I'm not regretting it. Mrs. Augusta Dike, you are under arrest for the conspiracy to the murder of Miss Gina Dike. And you have the right to remain silent for whatever you say or do here might be used against you in the court of law.
Madame. That was what happened. And we are sorry for making you pass through all you went through. The Nigerian police force will compensate you adequately. And we plead with you not to press any charges. 